OK. So when we are in the library module in Lightroom, what we're looking to do is to find the shot we want. I happen to have here a collection already set up, Irish landscape shots, and here's an image that I want to process. So I can just click on an image and then click on the develop module here in the menu bar. And our first trip to an image is always going to be in the basic panel. The basic panel is the first panel. Uh, it is not basic at all, it's quite powerful. And uh, for many people starting out, they kind of visit here and maybe not visit anywhere else. Uh, but I'm going to show you some of the other little things that you just might want to go into. So first off, we actually see what auto does. Auto is actually very good. There's a lot of algorithms in here. And there we can see immediately it's brought back some detail in the foreground here. Uh, if I go to the before uh, and after, I can very quickly then see dark and light. So it's made quite a bit of difference to the foreground. Hasn't done too much to the sky. That's quite blown out. So really, I just want to go back and see what else I can do here. So above the basic panel, we have some adjustment options. And our first adjustment option here, uh, well, our one in the middle here, is the gradient. And essentially, a gradient is not unlike a, a neutral density graduated filter. Uh, we can set the exposure. We can set the uh, shadows, highlights, contrast. So we can do a lot uh, into what's going on inside the, the gradient itself. So I'm going to start off here just with a, a minus amount, just to start off with. We can tweak that later on. And then I'm going to click and drag. Now here's what happens with a gradient. Everything above, and you see there's three lines, one in the middle, one at the top, one at the bottom. Everything above the top line gets the full effect of whatever I've put in the panel on the right-hand side. So the exposure, OK? Everything below the bottom line has had no effect applied whatsoever. And then in between the top and bottom line, the effect is graduated. So I can get a hard grad by going very close like that. I can get a soft grad by coming down like that. I can take the center line here, where the pin is, and I can drag that around. Uh, so I can angle it. I've got a, a horizon line that's not quite straight. And then up here, I can just play around with that. I can really pull that right back. That's kind of scary. Um, but kind of somewhere in between there. And I might just look at the uh, white balance here. All of our, uh, our main adjustment brushes and our gradient, we can also apply a white balance in there. So that kind of maybe puts a little bit of more blue in the sky. I can kind of pull that down. Because we have a kind of a hard edge to this image. Um, oh, oops, there's a second one I've created. And uh, this helps me show you that to activate a particular pin, click on it. OK, so what I should have been doing is that. Grab uh, the top line, and pull that down here. And then a new feature which has come into uh, Lightroom 6, Lightroom CC, uh, here in the adjustment, uh, the gradient adjustment. I have a brush. And if I hold down the Alt key, I get a minus brush. I'm just going to make a kind of smaller brush here. And what I can do is I can paint away the effect of that if I wish. Now that's a little bit tricky around edges like this. But nonetheless, it's something we can do. In actual fact, I'm going to undo that, Command Z. And in fact, what I probably would do will actually give this a gradient uh, look. Let me just come out of that there. Back onto there. I may just give it a, a, a kind of smoother gradient. Click on Done. So now I can see very quickly what I've done to that image before and after. It's quite a powerful set of tools that I can apply here. Shot in RAW, as you can see here, .cr2, Canon RAW File 2. That would be .nef if it was Nikon, for example. And uh, the other manufacturers have their own suffix at the end. So the RAW files have a lot of information below them, uh, which means that what would normally be blown out in a JPEG and not much information below to be able to pull it up, there's an incredible amount that can be actually uh, pulled up here in the RAW file. So there we have it. Uh, that's a very quick trip uh, around uh, a little image. Uh, in future uh, podcasts, we'll show what some of the other sliders are doing uh, and why we would use those.